All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And uh, today we're venturing once again over to Mikola and with another entry in not only the Oregon Fruit Series collaboration that they've been doing, but also the Spontan Series. So this is the uh, Spontan uh, Plum. <laughs> so uh, yeah, big fan of uh, both of these series. Um, the, the fruit flavours in these spontan specific especially are just like wham bam in your face um, and yeah I've got massive love for Mikola's spontan series probably my favourite sour series and um, it's got to be done link to my referral link my referral link is in the description below if you want to use it get yourself your own discount on your own box completely up to you but uh, yeah so this is clocking in at 6.3 ABV and I believe these will be classed as Lambic style beers so uh, that's what they say on Beer Advocate and all the other usual places or sometimes it goes sour other it's like hmm vague but uh, yeah so plum interested to see what plum sour would be like because I'm not usually the biggest fan of uh, the flavour of plum unless it's sort of like that that flavour you sometimes get in like an imperial stout or a doppelbock or a, an extra strong ale, British strong ale, that sort of thing. But plums themselves, not too much, although it is really nice uh, as a compote with rice pudding. Um, well, stewed down plum anyway. But anyway, you don't want to hear me say anyway again in a sentence. So, beautiful artwork, nice and simple from Keith Shaw, as per usual. Haven't chilled this down because I need a beer, because I'm cooking at the moment. Uh, having myself a nice, good old-fashioned chips, mushy peas, and a mincemeat pie with lashings of gravy. Because I'm a fat northerner, even though I sound like a very well-spoken uh, gay Londoner sometimes, or southerner. Uh, anyway... Not that there's be anything wrong with that, of course. It's just when people, when I say where I'm from, they're like, oh, really? You sound like you're from somewhere else. And trust me, you would. So I don't know why I've not picked up any sort of accent. It's just like this generic, poncy sound of voice that I have. Anyway, yeah, usually being well-spoken is good, but I just feel completely out of place sometimes. Anyway, there you go. One of my insecurities laid to birth on YouTube. Anyway, going to be using my Mikla beer cup glass for this one. So let's see what we get. I um, heard really good things about this um, and heard that it's actually quite different. Um, so thankfully that had stopped before it spewed all over the place. Anyway, beer in a glass and uh, it's a little bit more pinkish red than I was expecting. Um, yeah, it still looks really nice though. The, the Spontan series always looks good. Uh, lovely cloudiness there. It's not as like opaque or as bright as uh, some of them. I know that's a bit of a double negative, but whatever. But yeah, it still looks fantastic with about just shy of three fingers worth of a very slightly pink tinged compact white head. Anyway, looks really nice. Looks like a soft drink. So hopefully I can get a nose through that head. <laughs> well, you definitely get the plum. And then you get that sour lambic edge with those oak barrels. Is it oak? It's like a woody barrel now. Shows you how much I know. And I've been reviewing this for almost a thousand beer reviews as of recording this. But yeah, unmistakably plum on the nose. Lovely tartness from the sour ale. It's such a good base sour ale I've found. Um, I'm sure they do it just on its own without any fruity additions uh, or herbal additions because I know they do the spontan basil which I really want to get my whole hands on um, a bottle of that because I love stuff like pesto and the idea that there's a sour ale that kind of tastes like pesto just intrigues me uh, but it's hard to find them rocking horse shit and I'm not sure if they actually still sell it or if you can only pick up vintage bottles of it I'm not too sure I'm sure someone can enlighten me in the comments, or I could just be um, a normal human being and do a tiny bit of research after this video. Oh well. So yeah, it smells fantastic. It really, really does. Even that plum character. It's got that like plum jam compote aroma, slightly sweetened. 
But yeah, it smells interesting. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Ooh. I've become somewhat climatized to these styles of beer. So not really puckering on the intake. If you're getting into these sorts of beers, it might be. But after a couple of sips, you get used to it really quite quickly, unless it's like in your face tart. I think the sourest tart beer I've had is actually quite a, a modest beer and easily acceptable. Uh, accessible. Uh, that would be the Duchesse du Champagne. I think that's how it's pronounced. But I remember drinking that and it was like every sip it was just attacking my palate. And that's like a tame beer compared to a lot of what's out there. It's like um, I could deal with like spicy foods and tangy sort of foods, but something like English mustard, it will give me tingles and it'll make me, you know, wince because of like that very striking vinegary edge to it. Um, although, you know, English mustard's completely different to like a, a chili sauce. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, why, what am I talking about? But yeah. The plum's definitely there, um, it, but it's not too sweet, it's not too in your face, it's not too bold. It lends itself really nicely to that base sour ale, and it's almost like on the back end you get it. Um, yeah, it, it's it's really not sweet at all, um, I'd say. It's, in fact, it's got some quite savoury tones in there. And it's definitely the most intriguing of the Spontan series that I've had to date. But yeah, palatable, really light and crisp, drinking ridiculously well. And actually I'm finding now that plum is, uh, it grows on the back end the more you drink it. So it is very reminiscent of uh, like rice pudding with a plum compote. That's what I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting images of that just because it's plum probably. But it's not that sort of like plum like character you get from some darker beers like uh, an English Strong Ale or a Doppelbock or a, an Imperial Stout. Mm. That's really nice and yummy. Is it the best uh, Spontan beer that I've had? Is it the best Oregon Fruit Series beer that I've had? No. Um, in fact, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not too in your face. Um, but then again, I'd rather have something that's enjoyable to drink than just like, oh, it's a wacky experience. I'm not going to enjoy the rest of this beer, but oh, we've got a big kick. But then again, that's that's quite entertaining and interesting in its own right, I suppose. But um, yeah, an interesting beer for sure. If you love plums, who doesn't love plums? Well, me, because I'm not a big fan of them. But if you like your plums, then uh, you're probably going to enjoy this a hell of a lot more than I am. Um. But yeah, I think for me, the still the best that I've had from Spontan Series is that double raspberry. Because that was just absolutely immense. And then I had the double cherry paired beautifully with a beautifully cooked steak, Brazilian style steak. And that was just like one of the best food and beer experiences that I've had in my entire life. And as you can see, I've ate a lot of food. Um, but this interesting. Not gonna lie, was very disappointed that we didn't get the uh, the blueberry spontan uh, because I've had a blueberry um, entry from Mickler and that was gorgeous because I love blueberries. A little bit peeved that the uh, the beer mail got that and we didn't. Uh, I'm joking. If you if you're gonna start complaining about bullshit like that, then you really are a picky bastard. Um, quite frankly, probably a really nice person. Uh, so I do apologise for calling you a picky bastard, but. You are. Um, and we're spoiled. We are rarely spoiled as a consumer when it comes to craft beer. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain about a beer not being in my box because the value of that box is much higher than what I actually paid for it. So how can I complain just because my personal preferences weren't met? Anyway, I'm sure I'll be picking up a bottle of that because it just sounds absolutely bloody ridiculous. Don't know why I said dank, because none of these beers are dank, but oh well. In terms of a rating, um, it's got a little bit of a smokiness actually. The plum's giving it a little bit of smokiness when it's melting with the sour ale. Uh, in terms of a rating, I'm going to give that one an 8 out of 10. 
definitely something interesting, something a little bit different. Maybe it could have been a little bit bolder, a little bit in your face, a little bit more left field. Um, but at the same time, then you could completely compromise the overall drinking experience, which is something you don't really want to do. And uh, yeah, so if you like this sort of beer, definitely give it a go. If you like plums, definitely give it a go. And uh, yeah, check out Mikola, check out Oregon Fruits, check out my uh, various playlists down below. And of course, if you're interested by any of the Mikola beers that I've reviewed, then I'll put my referral link down below so you can give it a try for yourself. Anyway, shilling over, beer shall be consumed. And uh, yeah, I've got to check on my pie and chips because um, I don't want to burn them because that'd be very, very sad. And Piggy here would be very upset. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I shall hopefully see you later. And if you've tried this or any of the other beers, or any other beers that have plum in them, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and recommendations. And of course, as per usual, if any of my friends here on BeerTube have reviewed it, then their links will be down below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers. That was a bit like an Anne Robinson wink then. Oh well.